Have you ever found yourself in an argument with a friend where you guys both saw the same stimulus or event, yet you have two completely different ideas of what happened? This can usually be attributed to one person having a false memory of the situation. A false memory is when someone remembers something happening in a way that is different from how it actually happened or even remembering something that never happened in the first place. This can be any distortion of the memory or event. The anchoring effect is also a huge play into not only false memory, but false memory can play into the anchoring effect. The anchoring effect is a cognitive heuristic in which one's decisions are influenced by a previous piece of information. The anchoring effect is different from the anchoring bias because the anchoring bias is a more select subset of the anchoring effect that usually has more negative connotations. In this picture here, you can see the parts of the brain that are used when memory is correctly retrieved. This results largely in the prefrontal cortex, but also includes other regions, including the hippocampus and the amygdala. The most widely understand process of memory is the modal model picture here. We have a large amount of sensory information that comes in through our senses, such as visual, auditory, and haptic senses. We then pay attention to these subsets and we put these into thinking or put these into short term and working memory. We then put a little more cognitive function behind these and through encoding and planning, we can put these into long term memory. Long term memory, as you can see here, goes back and forth with short term memory and it's not a strict vault. It is very malleable, and as you can see, this is what plays into false memories. In the McDermott study, we can see how people can falsely recognize a word based on similar words, such as doctor, and they see hospital and other related words, but they never see doctor, yet they can say with a high confidence that they did see the word doctor. We can see here in this study, also done about the connections between anchoring and false memory by Elizabeth Loftus. In this experiment, kids were shown a video of a car crash. They then use the anchoring bias to give a high number or a low number. With this, people either reported that the car's average mile per hour was much higher than it actually was or much lower, and based on the anchoring, they even saw things that never even happened, such as the glass being there or blood being there when there's no such things. The anchoring bias and false memories have very, very similar ties and can both lead into each other. False memories can be boosted by the anchoring effect, and the anchoring effect can be caused by false memories. This definitely is a field of research that needs much more studies and experiments to be done, but as we begin to start understanding how false memories can attribute, such as in cases of therapy when people remember abuse and trauma, we begin to grow our knowledge on this subject. Thank you very much for tuning into this quick video on false memories and the anchoring effect.